All right, now finally is the big skin assessment. Oh good, I've been waiting for that. You know what, I know why? <laughs> because I have a lot of moles. Should I be worried about them? Yeah, so whenever you're assessing the skin, we can do it at any time for the head to toe assessment. You're gonna be all over this patient's body and just assessing. We always wanna make sure we're turning the patient, making sure we note any type of moles, any type of disformity. Remember, specifically for moles, anything that has irregular borders is not regular. So if it looks irregular, it's definitely irregular. We should report those things. So first things first, we talked about it all the time, but really a common finding is liver disease patients, either cirrhosis, hepatitis. Uh, we'll see jaundice, that yellow skin. We might even see pruritus, that itchy skin from all those bile salts. Number two is the bleeding. So if your patient's on anticoagulants, or let's say they have hemophilia, we wanna assess the patient for bruises and even petechiae those little red dots all over the body. Another one, especially for our elderly patients, is dry skin. We have flaky, cracked skin, and even possibly yeast infections from fungal infections. Now, we also see eczema, which is a chronic disorder of skin, which the skin becomes red and itchy and dry. Now, an autoimmune disorder called psoriasis is also very common, where the body attacks normal healthy tissue and a key sign is silver plaques and reddening skin that's roughed and raised and even flat on top. Now, for all our sports players, fungal infection called ringworm is very common infection. And a really gross one, now Kat has probably seen this in the clinical setting, is scabies, which are those little bugs that go underneath the skin and cause a lot of itching. Mouth. <laughs> Trust me, once you get your first patient with scabies, it feels like you have scabies. And very lastly, we have shingles, also called herpes zoster, caused by a reactivation of varicella zoster, which is the same virus that causes chickenpox. So this rash runs horizontally along the right side and left side of the torso, typically presenting as crusting or even pustular. All right, guys, that wraps it up for the top most frequent things you'll find on a head-to-toe assessment. Hopefully this video was helpful. Thanks, Kat. Thank you.